let me tell you that the push to feature which is a game changer for people with adopsonian even with a go-to because sometimes the go-to fails and with this trick you can in a matter of seconds to point to any object in the sky and i will show you right now this is the telescope that it's outside the 18 inch adopsonian telescope over an equatorial platform as you can see below and we call it the Prince. The Prince. The Prince. It is aimed with a ZWO-294 color camera. Not cooled. And inside the filter drawer that I have there. It's the quad band filter. Better with images. Let's open Sharp Cap. Remember, the members of this channel will have a live stream very soon, just for members, breaking down the trick to make this work flawless. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is out of focus, so I will point. This is not tracking. I will point to a bright star to focus the telescope because I was doing visual. And with visual, now I have a start on the Nexus, a focal reducer. But doing visual, I have to take this off and place um, the camera, of course, and place um, an extension. Let's do like this first. Okay, reset the platform, and now, and there it. And now, while I look at the screen, at the monitor, I focus. Now, look what I'm going to do. I will disconnect the platform. Look. I will move the telescope. I move the beta telescope and look at this. This is my gift for Dobsonian owners that don't have tracking. You see that it's not tracking, you see the stars? Now look what I'm going to do. Push to. Ring. Ring. Here. Start. Let's see. It solved. You see? It was uh, without a stretch. It, it's better to be with a darker background. It solved without tracking. And it's saying to me the ring nebula it's right 7.42 degrees and up 0 0.8. So it's almost there, but I have to move it to the right. Now I will go outside and while I move the telescope, the push tool will play it solve again and again. It's solving, you see. Each time it's with a green bar, it means it was uh, successfully solved. This is telling us that the software is recognizing the place in the sky where the telescope is pointing towards. But we are without tracking. You see how fast I have the push to working now? Now I will move the telescope to match the, what the software is telling me.
Now the trick is to do the movement to the to place the the nebula here at the bottom because it as it is moving up someone without tracking will want to start at the bottom of the screen because it's moving up we don't need the push to anymore it's at the bottom and now you go quickly you have everything set it up and you do live stack four seconds but i will lower it to two seconds and clear no filter we we have to to work without filters here bam bam you see without filters it doesn't matter because the stars will be all with traces of course and but it's stacking you see it's stacking everything because i have no filter you take a snapshot save a scene bam you see the stars because of the lack of tracking but what we are doing now is live stacking without tracking and with a Dobson and telescope if you are happy if you are happy and satisfied with and this is for Dobsonians and Newtonians that you go deep zooming in the object and you are happy without the stars because you don't need to if you zoom you don't see the stars well you have here one but if you zoom out of course you ha will have trails but if you are happy with this result you can use it not only for this you will have to stop quickly it ran away so you stop the stack it's here at the top you see here at the top look almost running away so this is for you to have a notion of the time that you have with a zw0294 and a large field of view this is an 8 inch with a size on an exus so if you don't use a focal reducer like this you will have less time or if you use a camera with a smaller sensor you will have less time you can also do in this kind of planetary nebulae uh, use with your camera and record a video and do lucky imaging for instance but also the ones that like to do visual like i was doing yesterday there are objects that are very very hard to capture for instance people struggle to find uranus neptune planets some planetary nebulae or whatever faint galaxy that you can't visually and you start to get anxious if you have an astro camera already even that you don't have tracking you can watch it and position it like i did but the difference will be that you will change the camera for the eyepiece and then you know for sure that it's there even that you touch the telescope it will be almost there so it will be much easier for you to discover and to add to your visual ob observations new objects that you couldn't do before because you just couldn't start up this works in a city with uh, Bortal 7, 8, 9 because it's a camera.